Now, considering that you are now uh, three decades in existence, that's quite a long time. <laughs> Maybe you could share with our audience um, the milestones that you've achieved in the yes. 30 years and also maybe uh, where you see yourselves in the next maybe 10 years or so, or five years? Well, the milestones, we started off as uh, the contribution made or the accumulated benefits at the time. We had 600 million in 1989, but over the years we have grown this fund significantly. Mm -hmm. As I indicated earlier, it now constitutes uh, seventy percent of the GDP of the Republic of Namibia, mm -hmm. and uh, we have funds now amounting to one hundred and twenty billion Namibian dollars. That is the fund value at the moment. Well, perhaps the biggest achievement has been to keep our promise to pay the benefits to our members. At no point has the fund been unable to do so, mm -hmm. and uh, the fund from an actuarial perspective, is fully funded. In other words, uh, the assets uh, exceed the liabilities uh, of uh, the, what is uh, the fund able to pay. So we are in good state. Um, it has uh, performed well. And uh, as of late, we have been introducing, in line with our new strategic plan, um, the, the, the credo of uh, service excellence is the focal area for us. And here we are trying to minimize the turnaround times. Okay. Uh, for example, for funeral benefits, we want to pay this within a day uh, so that members do not wait. For any other service, for example, retirement benefits, is that uh, we do not want to allow a situation where a member retires in one month and then there is a break of lack of income. Okay. So what we want to do is if you retire in September, in October, your first payment of uh, what is due to you as a retirement benefit is coming through. So these are the, the achievements that we want to see coming through, but we are already there, more or less. Okay. We are just um, cementing these ones. Yes. Okay. Well, um, in business languages, I mean, uh, there are always ups and downs, especially in the initial, cha uh, initial stages of establishment. Yes. And uh, maybe for some people who are watching out there yes. who'd like to know the ups and downs yes. that you have first as an organization yes. and how have you managed to actually yes. get over these challenges and win so that they also learn from your organization. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, it's like a human being. Entities are like human beings. Uh, there must be wins. There must be areas where you don't do so well. Um, I think the, the, on the downside, uh, I think we started off relatively small, where much of the services were provided by, uh, through outsourcing. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the administration of Namibia's pension funds, um, especially for civil servants, was done in South Africa by, uh, by private entities. Um, but then my former colleague, the, my predecessor, um, took it upon himself to say, well, these things we can do here. Of course, at the beginning, there will be administrative uh, challenges, uh, issues of filing, um, the, considering the complex nature of our uh, history as a country, um, files were uh, done in a manner reflecting the uh, segregation policies at the time. Uh, you remember there used to be af administration for whites, administration for blacks, homelands, and these files had to be put together and it created for us quite a challenge that the filing system was not perfect. Okay. And uh, in that process, uh, members' benefits, because you need to have the full file and the history of the member for you to be able to calculate the benefit accruing mm -hmm. to that member. And that is one of the challenges that we went through. Okay. And uh, the other challenge that we went through was the investment challenge. Okay. Um, 
we in 1994 1995 uh, to 2005 we invested through unlisted investments um, what we normally do the funds investment policy allows predominantly to invest in listed assets that is those assets that are blue chip on the stock exchange not only in namibia but across the globe uh, but it was also felt that we need to diversify our investment uh, horizon and uh, also to plow back directly into the real economy in namibia in doing so at the beginning I think the investment approach was not as good as it should have been. And in the process, we lost some investments. Uh, but what is uh, pleasing is that overall, we have been able to, um, to make up for the losses by better investment income in other asset classes. So that's why, as I said at the very beginning, the fund remains fully funded and uh, financially is very strong and sound. Okay. Yes. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe it's different with your organization, but uh, I understand that some organizations also have uh, programs that uh, they make or do that are specifically for giving back to the community. Yes. Uh, are there any projects that you're doing specifically as to give back to the community? Well, the fund cannot, uh, as a matter of... Uh, the pension funds, at least in Namibia, uh, by law, they cannot do uh, social responsibility programs. But what we have done through our investments is that we should realize impact. Impact in the communities uh, in which our members are residing. For example, we invest heavily in uh, housing. And um, we are perhaps have become one of the biggest housing developers in the country uh, through that process. And uh, we also provide housing financing to our members so that they are able to uh, access uh, housing, uh, proper housing. We have also invested in um, various uh, goods and services, uh, including provision of um, uh, sites and premises for businesses across the country. It's particularly catalytic in areas where um, the, those economies are at infant stage. In other words, they don't have shopping malls, they don't have proper uh, facilities for business, etc. So our investments have been um, catalytic in that sense. So uh, we also have been very much aware of the need to invest in key um, areas where we have a need. For example, food. Uh, we provide um, financing, or let me say we have invested in agriculture. And, um, and I, I believe that in the not distant future will become perhaps the biggest uh, provider of food in the country uh, wow. across all, so, all sorts of spectrums. And uh, so that is an area that we are very much excited. We are invested in healthcare, uh, in hospitals. Um, in the some areas, rural areas, medical care has been quite a challenge, especially modern medical care. We invested in Medipark in Ongwediva, which is in the northern part of the country. It's the, that's where the majority of Namibians actually live. And um, that facility is very modern to a point that it has become, it has become recognized as a medical school uh, where trainee doctors can go and learn the ropes. We have specialized services across all sorts of specializations, including spinal cord, uh, neuro, um, and you can name all this liver. Uh, we, as a matter of fact, we had a live liver transplant not long ago. Um, and so these are the areas where we feel that we are plowing back 
even though we are doing it in a smart way, it's not just in putting in money and don't get something. We put in money, we get a return, but at the same time, it has got an impact. And then, of course, we are invested in um, all sorts of uh, innovations, including uh, pharmaceuticals, um, etc. So, yes, the list is long. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, um, uh, considering that uh, Namibia is a member state of SADC and the issue of food security, the issue of health, yes. actually topical in the region, and um, uh, they have been singing the chorus of promoting uh, regional integration in response to these issues. Um, so in these uh, provision of food programs and the health programs that you are uh, working on, uh, have you learned also from other member states how they've been doing it or are there maybe things that you can also share yes. with them in order for, for, for you to enhance how you respond to the same programs? Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm a firm believer that uh, no country is an island on itself, uh, especially your neighbors are your immediate, you, you touch borders, you touch people, you have cross-cultural um, uh, cutting across uh, the borders. And uh, yes, we learned a lot. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, the service providers that we utilize, they are coming from all over the region. So it is experience they've picked up from across the borders. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, we have relationship with our counterparts uh, across the region. And uh, so, yes, indeed, we, we need to learn from one another and to have open-mindedness uh, to, to share the experiences that we go through. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is also very important is that uh, the fund is invested uh, across the, the world, including the region. Uh, we have strong presence in South Africa, in Africa, and in the national. Of course, also we have a strong presence in Namibia. So with that, we, the world is our, is our market. Oh. And uh, they say it has become a global village in, in a true sense of the word. Okay.